Firstly, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I spoke to Nancy Kalio and I know you're very close friends. Yeah. You're saying how proud he is of you. Wow. And I asked him that because I know how close you were, but also, are you going to take time, hopefully, to take stock of how hard that was, physically and mentally, to, to win those belts back? To a certain degree. I think on, on the 25th, on Christmas Day, I will. I'm taking stock of it like by coming to the JD Christmas party and chilling out with all my friends and people in the business. But the thing about my business is that I'm only good for another four to five months and then I've got to go and defend the titles again. So it was a great moment, but that's all it is at the minute. It's a moment, the days have gone by and I'm thinking about what I've got to do next. Does it excite you? About what's next? Yeah. That's, that's the driving force because if it was about what I had done, I'd be chilled. I'd be like, yeah, great. You know, I've done that, I've done this. But because there's always something next, it does keep me motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the green belt. Uh, we, we talked about the contenders, but I got slaughtered on social media. The other Did day, you? Because I, I said I got the impression, obviously Deontay keeps saying it's got to happen, but we just want it to get done at some stage. So like, what, what, what did you say to get slaughtered though? What well, I, I just sort of said because people say, oh, AJ doesn't want it. It's he mad. Want it. why, so, do, why do you think it gets a message I, that I don't want to I fight I don't know, him? but I, so I said, I think he does because he wants the green belt, the WBC. And do you know what? Let's put the belts aside, yeah? Let's put the belts aside. There's a guy in the heavyweight division named Deontay Wilder. Would he be a man I would fight with or without the belts? Yes. I think we put too much emphasis on the belts. WBC champion, unified champion. Oh, they don't want to fight because of they're scared to lose the belts or whatnot. All right, let's put that aside, all right? Me and him face off man on a man. I would fight him and he would fight me. So there's no two ways about who's ducking or who's doing what. It's competition, bro, at the highest of levels. And that's what we thrive for. So with or without the belts is a competition I'd live for. And that's why I'm still in the business. I just get the impression as a, as a boxing fan that that's the one that kind of intrigues you the most. It's, it's the road because we've always said the road to undisputed, hashtag the road to undisputed. And I always say it's like, isn't it plain to see from Charles Martin to unifying with Klitschko to unifying again with Joseph Parker to losing the titles, to fighting to win them back against Andy Ruiz to show you that like I'm not giving up. I'm continuously fighting like solid competition to keep me in line and in check as the number one heavyweight in the world. Now, as I said, take that aside of all that type of malarkey. I'm just a guy who will take on all, all comers and all challenges. They're talking about Usyk next, which ain't no problem to me. Like, it's another solid competitor on my record. Um, and it just shows that I'm competing with the best in the world. And it's hard as well, because you talk, when you talk about belts, you've got to have like, mandatories, and then there's mention of Pulev. Yes. That, that could be special, that could be, you know, maybe at Tottenham or something like that next year. You like that, you like that, don't I you? I do. I know you, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. But it's not a problem. It would be a special... I haven't been to the stadium yet. I think you'd love it. Yeah? I, I, do, I really do. Apparently it's really well yeah, designed. Yeah, really well. there the other week. Yeah? Uh, with Josh Taylor, and they were like, wow, this is... Okay. Okay, cool. Mm. So I just say it's kind of a blessing and crazy just to think that we can even talk about like stadium fights. You know, I don't take it for granted because where we've come from, like your even like leisure centres, like York Hall and then building, building. So it's amazing that we can even talk about going to Tottenham. And then that gives you the job opportunity, hopefully around Christmas, to actually sit back and say, I'm proud of what I've done. Two-time world champion. You are in these stadiums. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's a blessing. It's, it's a, hard because you don't get time to sort of take stock, do you? Nah. Because then you go back into training and people probably don't see that as much. Which, are, which was weird because in, um, in Saudi, yeah, it was the first time when we was at the British Embassy training, we uh, opened it up to like all of the staff in the British Embassy. So there was about, i say 20, 25 people that was watching all the sparring. Then the local Saudis came down and watched the sparring and they valued and appreciate what goes into it which people don't see so I think in the summer what I might do is um, speak to what for cancel and try, maybe put a ring somewhere or in uh, Finchley and put a ring outdoors and uh, do some training for the public to come down and see have a proper session but let them music in the background and 
you know, bring boxing to life again because winning these championship belts ain't about ducking or dodging no one. It's also about inspiring and showing people that they can be a part of this legacy and journey as well. It's a very special picture in this room just above you. Oh, I ain't seen that. Yeah. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It, it's difficult to dislike Andrew Ruiz. You know? I think he speaks well and he's very respectful. To yeah. him and I thought he was respectful even in New York. As a, as a as a fan, a boxing fan, I was quite surprised to see um, his, his shape and his condition. Is it di difficult though? Sometimes he's, he's all he's in the world spotlight straight away. He's okay. Competing you. Okay. Or when when you did have the weigh-in, were you a little bit surprised, or did you get get, get an inkling? I studied him, so I had analysed um, his weight loss during his training camp and then I analysed what his coach said and said look we're looking to put on a bit more weight because currently Andrew Ruiz doesn't feel strong at that weight and we want to go in with a lot of power. So that was their strategy, so in terms of the weight thing, I did hear his coach say that was part of their strategy, but it just, it just didn't happen in there from that night. Um, and, that, and he wanted to express all of his reasons, which some people call excuses, but you know, um, as, and the thing is, what we all know is that the distractions that come with being being like world champion, we all have to deal with it. It's just some people deal with it better than others.